Hello and welcome back to another video on the Ghana Collective YouTube channel. How's everyone doing today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook with the uh, T-Fowl uh, Easy Fry and Grill, as it says there, which is the model number EY5058278, purchased from Amazon, and I got it yesterday, and I've done a video on the actually unboxing of it. And uh, I've actually cooked in it, and the food was really, really good. And it was really, really quick as well. So a quick recap then. This is a 4.3, what is it, 4.3 or 4.2, so a quick look. It's in, that, in fact a 4.2 litre capacity easy fry and grill oven. It's in black, and the weight is 5.3 kilograms. And it's supposed to cook your food two times faster and mostly than a normal standard oven. And it can do things like uh, uh, chips, uh, meat, chicken, whole chickens, cake. You can actually peel your own potatoes and cook them in here, vegetables and so on. And uh, if, we, if you turn it on for a second here now, you can see on a display when it shows me, you've got your timer here, you've got your chips icon, you've got your uh, chicken you got your pizza because the capacity is so small for the tray you've actually got to cut it up you can do cakes uh, you got fish meat and you got a grill function and on the right hand side here you can actually set your timer to what it wants to be by going down or up and you can actually set the temperature here on this side up down and it goes up to uh, 200 and in it at the moment to put some food in there and that's frozen as you can see now you can see all the frost on the food you got uh, chicken nuggets in there you got roast potatoes and a chicken burger in there and this is my second time cooking this now so i'm hoping it will come out good for you lot on the uh youtube who are sitting at home relaxing and here it comes with uh, the manual manual's a bit basic and doesn't tell you much at all tells you do's and don'ts how to clean and stuff like that you don't need oil in this as well because it's all self-contained and as you know chips mostly come with oil already in the bag if you buy it from like a superstore it tells you how to turn it on the times and stuff like that because it's a bit faster than a normal oven be careful on the times because sometimes you could overcook your food and have like a uh, chips tasting like uh, a rock <laughs> It's also got a grill function as well, and I'll show you that now, even though there's food in my uh, tea fowl. So here's now a removable tray to put your food in, lightweight, good handle on it. Uh, you've got your fan at the bottom here, there, that heats up food quick. The tray function, you just put that in there on top, and uh, put your food in there. And because of the uh, jagged edges here now, you can try to put it at an angle here now. It puts the uh, professional looking uh, lines on it, which you usually get from a restaurant if you're eating from there. Does it both sides, which is nice. And it fits secure in there. And you see these rubber ends here? Do not remove because you're not going to get it secure in the actual uh, T file product. And now we head over to the uh, box itself before I actually start the cooking problem. So here's the box. Detailing what it does, two in one healthy fryer, and so on. There's a roast chicken in there if people want to know. You can do roast chicken. The actual uh, manual for like cooking on this is actually really bad. I've actually actually looked on the Amazon website for people who bought the product and quickly put in their times, like for chips and stuff like that, which they did say is about 15 minutes for chips. You got your eight cooking programs on there, your fries, your nuggets, your chicken, your pizza, your meat, your fish, your vegetables, and your cake. Timers on there as well. The fan is pretty good for heating up. No preheat, that's correct, no preheat. If you look over here to my uh, Delonghi microwave convection oven, I had to preheat with this. Convection. Had to preheat you that, and uh, I was waiting long, especially if you your stomach's empty and you're begging for food. <laughs> so here we go now. All the food you can do. I need to like study this myself to get used to it. I don't eat pizza at all. I don't like cheese, so I won't be touching the cheese. 
but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? A lot of people complained about me putting a, a, a raw cucumber in the tea fowl. Want to cut pressure cook out. So how can you do that? But if you look here now, in the picture, someone's actually uh, roasting a cucumber in there. So um, they're probably getting complaints as well. <laughs> so you got your chicken in there and so on, chips and your meat. I've actually got meat in the actual uh, freezer myself, but it's frozen solid, so I need to def um, defrost it in the fridge. But that's amazing though, isn't it? Like no, no preheat, because it's that good. You don't have to preheat. So let's put that back over here. And remember I said it again, if you want to see some work on the uh, tea file, it's uh, there's videos on my channel to see it. And that is the tea file, um, multi cook pressure cooker. I can cook anything. And that's the capacity if you want to see it. Inside, you've got like cup, you've got your spatula, and uh, you've got your tray to put your food in there to raise it, put your water in there, boils quickly. And uh, as I said before, make sure that's closed. So if it's not closed, you're going to get some problems if you're cooking. If it's not going to be cooked properly, and steam is going to escape from the water, and you're going to get like uh, uncooked food, especially as I said before, if, like uh, you're starving and like you're desperate, and there's nothing there. So back to this then. Doesn't look like a coffee maker, doesn't it? Imagine putting like the little uh, beaker underneath it, isn't it? The little beaker underneath it, waiting for your coffee. <laughs> okay then, so let's go back to cooking this then. So I said before, I'm new to using this, so this is like my first time using it. So again, the food's in there, chicken nuggets, your roast potatoes, and your chicken uh, burger, all from a superstore called Asda. As you can see in there, you've got the frost on them, because they are like, been in my freezer for a long time because I needed something to cook in because my confectioner one takes a bit too much power out of the um, the house and turns all the switches off which is annoying so that's in there now securely let's turn it on for a second as you know I think I can show you now for safety proof if you turn it on here now no power because the tray is open but the moment you close it light comes on ready for action so I guess do that again turn it off now it's on, light comes on, that's the off switch, was also the uh, the light as well to turn it on. So turn, press the button in the middle, that lights up. And right now we're going to be doing chips, aren't we, with those uh, chicken burgers and the chicken nuggets. So um, as I said before, we can change your timer here on the right hand side, so whatever you want it to do. You can go up to, um, how many minutes can you go up to? I do believe it's 60, but let's have a quick look. Hold the button in, it goes up. Here, yeah, 60. And you've got your temperature here. So let's turn it off again to reset the machine. I remember before, no preheating. So that's good. So it is button in the middle, which is the power switch and also the cooking timer to start the timing itself. So press that once. We asking for chips here so we click on uh, chips it says 25 minutes but I'm going to reduce that timer because when I did do it on 25 minutes it was a bit too dried out and a bit too crusty but I have read on the Amazon that people have put it down for 15 but I'm going to try 16 just that little bit minute extra so we're going to keep it at 200 and we're going to reduce the timer to uh, 15 oh that's the wrong way 200 there and take this down to 15 16 I said so that's all done there foods in there as you know and now that's done what we do next is it goes back to 200 again to let you know it's ready for 200 and 16 is on there ready and waiting so that's all done there all done have a good luck then once that's done now you're happy with it and it's all secure as I said before once you need say for instance you need to turn off your food pull the tray out instantly stops the cooking process and you can turn your food or do whatever to it add extra to it and so on so here we go so that's all in there all secure I'm going to show you the sides of it as well I'm actually doing it at the moment so I'm doing this 
uh, Street Beast, which is a brilliant uh, application to uh, make money by reviewing your products. And here's the products I'm reviewing at the moment now. Anything from your basic um, creams to your shower gels to snacks. Take a picture of it, do a quick write-up on the app itself, and then get paid every single time to PayPal. And that's on my um, video section at the moment, and that's on the Street Bees and app that works. So type in Street Bees in my um, video channel, and you'll see the Street Bees app, which is fantastic. So back to this again. So we've got 60 minutes, we're going to cook through that. 200 degrees Celsius to cook the chips, the nuggets, and the burger. Everything's all secure, it's all, all done. Bot in the middle, which is also the off switch as well, but it's also what the on switch like, like the T file was. So let's press it now and let's begin. Here we go. After a few minutes of this cooking, it will actually start to smell really nice throughout the whole house and the smell does linger throughout the whole house. One of the actual street beast tasks is to show the food you've cooked and do a quick write up on it. I'll show you that there. This is street bees. Just review your own products and so on. You've got your, you've got your pets you can do, buying, buying food for your pets. What are you eating? You can get paid for that. What are you drinking? Get paid for that. Answering quick questions, show proof of that you bought a drink or so on. Snacking out of home, having food at home, protecting yourself from germs. Insurance, every single, every single time you do a study on this and also um, provide proof with a photo, they'll review it straight away and pay you into PayPal. Dogs again. Are you cooking? Yes, I am. I'm feeding your pets. So, all this stuff here is what I'm doing for Street Bees, and you can actually um, do it several times every couple of days. And make money from it and it pays instantly to your PayPal and I'll show you my PayPal now fingerprints So as you can see now, the Street Beats app has been paying me 29th of October. Pays all the time just to reviewing, reviewing products. Everything you have in the house can be done and made money from. All Street Beats complete payments. So that's Street Beats. We're down to 40 minutes now. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video and then pause it again when the food is done to show you how nice it is. So I hope you've enjoyed the video so far and enjoying what I've done and the products which is over here. So a quick recap for people. It's a 4.2 litre easy fry and, and grill. It uh, does your fish, cake, you can actually peel your own potatoes in there, put vegetables in there to uh, to like cook and make more crispy. It doesn't need oil at all because it's all self-contained, easy to clean, pull it out under the tap with a, with a washing liquid or whatever, dry it, put it back in the machine, all clean, ready to use again. Faster than actually a normal cooker, preheats itself. So I need to preheat it as you saw. Got 30 minutes left on the timer. Fantastic. So I've got the tea fowl, multi-cook. The uh, tea fowl, easy frying grill. Delange toaster. Uh, Delange uh, microwave. Bico fridge freezer with anti-defrost. 
and the Beco washing machine as well. So I'm trying to keep the black themed uh, kitchen. Look at this, Rio. So I'm going to pause the video here now. We'll, we'll wait till it's done. We've only got 12 minutes left. Right then, it's still got eight minutes left. But I'm going to show you how. But if you want to check your food, as soon as you pull the tray out, it stops straight away, so you can check it. So let's do that now. As you can see here now, it's already burning nicely, and all that snow frost <laughs> from the freezer has gone. So it's looking nice already, and that's just for 16 minutes. Perfect. Let's carry on then. So I'll push it in straight away. Starts the timer again. Instantly starts. Hands free. Very nice. And we're back. I've noticed with this. Let's turn it off now. It's finished. I have noticed with this. It just says the word off when the timer's up. It doesn't uh, bleep anything to let you know. So uh, keep an eye on your uh, time and set it with and listen out for when it's finished. Because I think it does, after a while, that fan noise does calm down. But uh, let's check the food then, now that's done. Always make sure you put your thumb here, because if you don't, you're going to pull the appliance forward and probably onto the floor. So put your thumb on here and then pull. And what do we have here? The frozen food is now brown and perfect and crunchy as you can see. I actually had a little nibble of that uh, chicken nugget as you can see and it tastes lovely. So that's it then, that's that's done for 16 minutes. Possibly it could have been put down for 15 because it looks uh, really brown but uh, let's have a little look how good it is. And here that crunchy sound as the fork goes into the food. Yeah. You see the steam coming off it, so it has cooked. See there's a steam there. It's not fake steam, it's real steam. <laughs> Perfect. And I've had these chips in the actual uh, freezer for a very, 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 very long time because of uh, my uh, confection microwave, as I mentioned, had uh, a problem where it was draining all the power out of the house every time I turned it on. But for normal stuff on the microwave, it was perfect. But I've got someone coming out to have a look at the electrics for that. But uh, the fan, all clean inside, no mess at all. Just a quick wash under the tap once it's done, and that's it. So I'll just quickly serve this onto the plate, and then finish with the video. And uh, thanks for your time, and patience. If you st if you stay to the end, and I hope you're ticking that subscribe button afterwards. So let's quickly put this onto a plate like magic. Hmm, where'd it go? <laughs> it's a mess in there. As you see, it's all the crumbs. But I advise you to use a spatula to take the uh, food out because you don't want to scratch it with a metal fork. So I went into my tea file here and I retrieved my spatula to scoot the food out. No mess, no uh, scratching up. Perfect. So where's the food gone, you wonder? The food has vanished from here and is over here. And it's absolutely freezing cold still. No, joking. It's really done. As you can see now, it's all crunchy. You can see the brownness on it. Listen to this. Listen, listen. As it goes in. Perfect. Listen to the crunch now. <clears throat> that is... That is perfect, that is. So that was uh, 15, 16 minutes in the tea file on the chip mode. But I think I could reduce the um, the actual like uh, timer to like um, less than 16, probably about 15 or a bit less because a bit, a bit crunchy, a bit too crunchy. But uh, that's that then. That's all ready for me to eat, and also for me to do a, a street bees task, which I showed you earlier, with product reviews, which is on my app at the moment, on my video store. Click, look for the word street bees, and you will see that you can get paid instantly by reviewing normal household products like shower gel, creams, deodorant, shaving appliances, vitamins. All can be done, and they pay instantly. 
once they reviewed it straight to your PayPal. So we're doing the video on what it does to cook now at the moment. So this is the, the tea fowl, easy fry and grill. Cooks food, lovely. Nice machine, quiet as well. Fast cooking, no preheating. So I hope you like the video. Please subscribe if you do. Any questions, ask me and I will answer when I see him. So thanks for your time and patience and I will leave you as I eat this in peace. Thank you. Bye.